This is The Thinking Effect, where we help you do your daily best. And I'm your host, Tom Danger. Three ways to face your fears. And I always like to start with a story. I remember the first time I had to get up in front of a crowd and speak. I was probably in the fourth grade and my teacher was Miss Marshall. And she said that she could teach me how to speak in front of a crowd. Now, the first time I got up in front of the audience, naturally, I thought, you know, everybody is just staring at me and they're going to make fun of me. And on top of that, like, I I used to stutter really, really bad. I still stutter now from time to time. It's just I take my time even when I'm excited so it doesn't come out, you know, gibberish. I take a pause. That's what you do. You take a pause if you're going to stutter. It works sometimes. But I remember getting on the stage and I had practiced for a while. And once I actually went through with my little speech that was only about two minutes, it was all right. It was all right. And most of the fear that I faced in that moment, actually, I I put it on myself. It wasn't the crowd. It was it was me. In my mind, I was thinking that people were going to make fun of me or people were going to judge me and say that I couldn't speak well or I looked funny or I sound funny. Right. So I would say that one of the first ways that you can face your fears are stop judging yourself negatively like that negative self-talk does you no good. You know, you ever, like, like for those of you who are in relationships, you ever have something happen with your partner and you think something is wrong or, like, they're not speaking to you or they're not as chatty as what they are usually and then all of a sudden in your mind you start thinking, like, well, what did I do? Well, maybe I did something wrong and it's going to piss them off. And, you know, and then you go and ask them, like, well, what's up? And they're saying, like, Nothing. I'm cool. I just got something on my mind. Nothing to do with you. But in your mind, you already started to put things in play to make it seem as if it was something that was happening when it's not. Right. So you have to figure out how to flip that. And we move into number two, which is you have to have positive self-talk. Now, before I got on that stage, I knew that preparation was the key. There are certain strategies that you can use from when you're speaking publicly, you know, taking a pause, um, not looking directly at the audience, but looking at the back of the audience, like looking at the back of the wall or one person all the way in the back. This way, it looks as if you're communicating with different people in the crowd, um, ways that you can position your hand in your pocket or hold something to sort of offset that nervousness or fear. There's certain things that you can do, but more than anything, you have to tell yourself that you can do it. You can do it. You got this. Every morning, just tell yourself in the mirror, you got this. Today is going to be a great day. I know it sounds cliche, but I'm telling you, it works. It will help you with your fears. I'm going to get through this. You can get through this. You can make it. Okay? Get in the habit of giving yourself positive talk. And then the last thing, and also remember from being on the stage is that, you know, just before I began, like my my stomach would be in knots and I would always just, (sighs) I would have to take a breath. I have to slow down. I have to slow down. You know, when when you get really, really nervous and, and your body begins to tense up, and that fear is starting to eat at you. You got to breathe. You got to slow down and take a breath. Now, is this to say that this can be applied to everything? I would honestly say yes, because most things in life are more crucial in our minds when we think about it and how we think about it than what it is in reality. You know, your mind can create your reality. So, If you can stop with the negative talk and counter that with positive talk, 
And when you are in a fearful situation, take a moment and breathe and express yourself. I'm not saying something wild like if a dog is chasing you. No, get out the way, like fight or flight, right? We're talking where you have the ability to control what you say and how you respond in a particular environment. I would like to hear what subjects you would like for us to talk about next. Drop us a line, leave us a comment. This is The Thinking Effect, where we help you do your daily best.